Howdy there. All right, so we just got back from Maine and had an amazing time, because we always do with Maine's wonderful, but also because uh, the hunt there, um, it was it was a very memorable experience. Uh, it was In one way, it was the easiest hunt I've ever had in my life, which I feel kind of bad saying, like an easy hunt is normally not one you remember, but uh, this one will be. Uh, but also, it's, it was easy because I was reliant on the kindness and generosity of another person. So... Uh, I was up in a, up in the county in a zone where there's not a lot of deer. Uh, when I got mine and checked it in, it was the 74th deer taken this season. Where at the same time down east, there are counties with over 3,000 deer being taken to kind of put it in perspective. And uh, we'd been up there for a little while. We hadn't seen any game at all. No deer, no nothing. And it was kind of disheartening. And the weather was turning bad for a few days where they weren't likely to be moving a lot. So... Uh, heading into town to provision, get some food. I had my wife with me and we're driving. Then all of a sudden we see three doe out in a field and I'm in my zone in, uh, you know, my hunting area where I've got an any deer permit and I stop and watch them for a second and trying to, uh, uh, see if the land's posted or not. Doesn't look like it is. Then uh, a tractor pulls up the road and pulls into the property. So flip a U-turn go over there hop out and uh walk up to the guy who gets off the tractor now he doesn't know me i've never met him um and i'm you know I'm, i've got virginia plates i'm not a local i got land up there and i love it but i'm not a local you know i don't know how he's going to react to to me asking but all i do is i just walk up and like hey um you got three doe out in this field i got an any deer t- permit and before i can ask or anything he's like have at it just go so i grab the rifle um, grab the, uh, throw on my orange and, uh, my wife even grabs a phone to video it and we go after it and, uh, and drop one right there, uh, 160 yards away and she falls on the spot and the, uh, the guy, his name is Jason and huge shout out to him for all of it, all of his help. He walked out there with me, uh, out into the field where the deer was at and congratulated me. And then he walked back, got his tractor and drove out there and, all I had to do was pick her up and load her in the bucket on the tractor. He drove the tractor to my truck, and all I had to do was pull her out of the bucket into the into the bed. Whole hunt lasted less than 10 minutes, and I had her from seeing her to asking permission, dropping her, getting her loaded up in the truck, 10 minutes. Um, and it was so simple, but it was all because this guy was so generous. And I didn't. I saw one other deer the whole rest of the time I was there. I was there for another week. I only saw one other deer. And I wouldn't have had a shot on it. So if it wasn't for this guy and his generosity, um, I'd had nothing. So I uh, made a point. Well, number one, dropped out, definitely gave him a, a whole hindquarter um, as a thank you. Cause I, and I hope he enjoyed it. I got it trimmed up and packaged it neatly. And, and I, I, anyway, I hope he enjoys it. But otherwise, um, yeah, what you see next is, uh, is the, the shot. It's just my wife filming while I'm on the ground uh, getting ready to shoot 160 yards away and she drops. Anyway, shout out to Jason. Thank you. And uh, Maine is a wonderful place with nice people. You can't beat it. Did she drop? Yes, sir. Whoa. Sure. Sure. <laughs> love it when they don't get back up. Yeah, no, that makes it that makes it easy. All right. Oh, hey. Let's go get my tractor. <laughs> we'll throw that in the bucket and we'll oh, really? get that up to your pickup. What's your name? Jason. Jason Danny. Danny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Mamie. <laughs> 